Hi there, welcome back on this possibly momentous day where, if you've been reading your New York Times, we now have an official scientific government advisor saying that he handled off-world technology and off-world materials. Wow. But what does this mean? Well, obviously it means if it's true, military and aerospace companies have got hold of extraterrestrial technology. Right. It's like mind-boggling. Why is it revealed now? And who was it that told the world about this? So the story all came out through a congressional committee who wanted to look at funding for Navy who was investigating unmanned aerial phenomena and how much it was costing the taxpayer to look at this. And there seems to be some interest in this current US government to actually expose extraterrestrial UFO secrets, which is great if they are true. So I don't want to go into all the ramifications of budget funding and the politics of it. It, for me, focused down on who was the person the whistleblower who actually mentioned this off-world technology. Meet Eric, Dr. PhD, Dr. Eric Davis, an astrophysicist. Very respected. I'm sure he's worked on incredibly interesting programs, which I wish I'd worked on. But he also appears on TV programs like this. And actually, the Basement Office UFO series is actually one of my favourite, and I think it's actually jolly good. So just because he was on the Basement Office doesn't rubbish him, but I think it poses some questions. Like, why did he do this? Because saying he had access to off-world technology is a massive statement. So where does Dr Eric Davis work now? Well... Interestingly, he works with this company, the Aerospace Corporation, and they're a big non-profit aerospace defense industry contractor. I mean, they did things like converted ICBMs, the Atlas and Titan missiles for space research. They're into CubeSats, they're into different types of research for propulsion. There are serious players in the field. And no doubt they look at exotic materials. So possibly Dr. Eric Davis did get his hands on something that was strange. But did it come from another world? I don't know. I wish we had the evidence. I wish we could see what he was actually working with. Wouldn't that be interesting? So I guess either Dr. Eric Davis was publicity seeking and just wants to be the famous whistleblower who reveals the truth, or it's all just made up. I really don't know. What do you think? Because the truth is out there. Mm -hmm.